Well, hello, all you botanically minded people. Today I'm giving you a sneak preview of what our hot and spiky cactus and succulent house looks like for 2020. No visitor has seen this in 2020. Look at these wonderful plants. Let's start off with South America first and head to the Andes at about 10,500 feet above sea level where this plant comes from, Cactus strawsii, also known as the tail of the fox. Very, very prickly indeed. Scanning across to the left-hand side, look at Medusa's head wriggling itself around Cactus strawsii and Echinopsis atacomensis, subspecies Pasacana, also known as the upright sea urchin. Then across, Heading to the left hand side across from South America to the wonderful country of South Africa to see a plant that is looking in peak condition via the lovely Phoenix Dactylifera where we get our dates from, the date palm there. Next along we've got this fantastic very prickly cycad and then to a plant of garden hybrid origin that is looking magnificent. It's called Aloe Hercules and it is of Herculean proportion. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that striation on the bark. Very thick, fat stem leading to an absolute cacophony of thick, fleshy leaves tapering to a deliciously, slightly spiny point. Aloe Hercules is wondrous. And then moving across to the right, bird of paradise, Strelitzia reginea, the money plant, Gracula ovata, a very popular house plant, growing to very arboreal sizes, very tree-like. And then one of my highlights is to show you the bed that we've got to represent the wonderful country, the horticulturally endowed and blessed country of Mexico with lots of prickly delights. So prickly, in fact, we've added wine and champagne corks for your protection when visitors return. Passing Agave Ticolana here, where the spirit tequila comes from with its sea bluey, slightly green, razor sharp leaves and heading to this glorious species, Echinocactus grusonii, a very popular house plant now, the golden barrel cactus from Mexico. These were sown in 1953 and are simply sumptuous. See a couple of flower spikes on the top left of the picture there developing. And then as we head off past central southern Mexico down to Central America and across the oceans to Madeira where I have for you an exclusive for Lullingston, never flowered this before, the floral emblem of Madeira. Echium candicans, the tree Echium, with this iridescent blue, a member of the Borage family, an entomological delight, especially for bees. They love members of the Borage family, including this. And across to the Macaronesian bed, so Madeira, Cape Verde, the Azores and the Canary Islands, we have some sumptuous stunners, including the world's biggest geranium. Geranium madarensi, that flower head is over a metre across and next to it, towering to nearly six foot, the tree house leek, Aeonium arboreum, subspecies arboreum. And as we head towards the end of the tour, we're heading to the southwest United States bed, full of prickly pears, the source of various jams and sauces. Here are some prickly pear fruits. You've got to boil the fruits first, otherwise you'll get a mouthful of small spines known as glockids. But my favourite of the prickly pears to show you today is the bunny ears. A Puntia palana from Coahuila State in Mexico. You'll see why it's called the bunny ears. Towering bunny ears. 13 and a half foot tall that specimen. And the tour would not be complete as we head down to southern United States, Arizona, Texas. It would not be complete at the end of the tour without an exploding volcano. 